Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to rip a DVD with a program called Handbrake. Now Handbrake is a free program that lets you convert any file type to let's say MP4 for an example. In this case I'm going to show you how to rip a DVD with Handbrake. Now the process is very simple however the installation process is a little bit more complicated so I'm gonna spend a little bit more time talking about that first step is to install handbrake now you can um, click the link in the description below it's handbrake.fr once you get there you wanna select other platforms you, you can select any one of these download links for like a Mac or Windows once you click the, one of these links it will download a file for you to install handbrake once it's all installed on your system, you may be thinking, great, well I can open up Handbrake and start ripping. There's one more step you need to take before you start using Handbrake. And that next step is to download a file which lets you access the protected information that's on the DVDs. Without this file, Handbrake will not be able to get that information. So you want to go to a website called download.videoland.org. You can click this link in the description below also. Once you get to this page, you want to hit LIB DVD CSS. Next you want to select where it says 1.2.12. Next you want to select whichever operating system you're on if it's Mac, OS X, Win32, or Win64. Next, you're going to download the file that's in that location. So I, I've already downloaded this four times, so I'm just going to open up the first one that I downloaded. Okay, so here, here we have the file. What you want to do is just either copy this or cut it. I'm going to cut it because there's no point in keeping it in the downloads folder. Next, I, I want to click local disk C, the C drive, and I'm going to go to where it says program files. Then I'm going to go to handbrake, and here's the location where we're going to paste this. So just right click and hit paste. I've already done this. Um, you can paste it here. Some people tell you to remove this dash too. So if you click this right here, highlight where it says dash two. Some people tell you to remove this. I find it actually is not the best way to go through this process. Just leave the file name as it is. Close down File Explorer. Close down your web browser and open up Handbrake. Here's the easy part. Once you have Handbrake open, you want to insert a DVD. I'm going to insert The Godfather as an example. And now I'm inserting the DVD. I'm going to let my computer detect The Godfather for a few minutes. Next, you want to go to where it says Source. And you want to click your DVD. So I've got The Godfather right here. And it's going to scan the movie for a few seconds. It shouldn't take too long, maybe like one minute or two minutes. The Godfather is all done. All you literally have to do is go down under these presets and select which one you want to do. So let's say you want to watch this movie on an iPhone. You select iPhone and iPod Touch. I'm not sure if this preset works for an iPhone 6. It may work just for like an iPhone 4 or iPhone 5. I really don't know. You could try it, experiment a little bit. Go to like an Apple TV or an Android, Android tablet, Windows Phone 8. If you just want to do it for your computer, for an example, I'm just going to hit normal. And it's already going to select these options for me. Because it already scanned the DVD, you don't need... To to mess with any of these other options uh, under picture, filters, video, audio, and so on. All you have to do is go you're going to name your file. 
So I'm just going to do Godfather and then hit browse. You want to choose where you want this file to be located, either on your desktop, in your videos, whatever. Just choose that location. You want to select MP4 and then hit start. Now this process could take a long time depending on how big the, the file for the movie is, how long the movie is, or so on. But there are lots of factors that could affect how long it could take. So I recommend just sitting back and letting it do its thing and then after a few minutes checking it and then you'll have it in your location. So there you have it, how to rip a DVD. Now, this d does not work with Disney movies because Disney likes to put a lot of protection on their movies, but it will work with most DVDs. So thanks for watching this tutorial. Hopefully it helps you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I will respond as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.